what's going on, Odalma here, and welcome back to episode number 106 of my live episodes, where I take hashtag United to the levels of the footballing pyramid. Now, as always, I would really appreciate it if you would hit the subscribe button down below if you're interested in daily football and your content. Now, with that being said, with I suppose we'll jump straight into the schedule, and uh, yeah, it's not been... Uh, not been all, not been great, <laughs> not been great. We'll start off then with the game against Wolves. Having lost two games, obviously, in the live comment in the last episode, we followed up with another defeat, 2-0 to playoff rivals Wolves. Not a good result, Fernando Giacchino for the goals for Wolves. Then we followed up with a disappointing 0-0 draw against Warsaw, which I couldn't believe, to be honest, I'm not gonna lie. It was so poor, so poor, so poor. Then we managed to just about get the three points over Aston Villa. 1 0, Sam Garner with a banger in the 93rd minute. I went absolutely, I wish I would have live come that because I, I was screaming, jumping for joy to get that three points because like, it was just so disappointing we're creating loads of opportunities and we're not putting them in the back of the net then we followed it up with a 1-0 defeat to Notts Forest Sam Garner getting, getting in the bad box getting sent off after 70 minutes and then we managed to beat Walsall in the away leg while in the fourth round we played the FA Cup on penalties things aren't looking great we've scored one goal in the past six games which is a bit concerning we're doing the right things we're still creating opportunities but FM's just decided that we, we, we can't score anymore for some reason I don't know why I don't understand it we're still holding on in the league though if we win today against Ipswich we still move top so the other teams around us are bottling it as much as we are at the moment <laughs> But it is just the way it is at the moment. I'm just, I, we're doing the right things, and I'm hoping that the form will turn around at some point. Um, with that being said, then there's no else to do but get in nice and stuck into today's games. All right, okay. Who's gonna figure in today's game? Because we're struggling at the moment to find any sort of consistent form, and just scoring goals in general is a bit of a chore for us. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do that. Lambert, do we play him now? Because he's been pretty poor. But he is very good on paper. So that makes me think that we should play him. We've got him on support. We've changed up the tactic a little bit. The two wingers are now from attack back to support, but our full backs are now attacking instead of supporting. So we'll see how that works for us today. This is the first game we're trying it out. It's only a little change, but I'm just trying to get some goals, man. Like, we've hit the bar. We've scored off disallowed offside goals, like everything. We've just been getting FM by game after game. It's just getting a bit tiresome. I just want the, I just want it to go back to how it was when we were scoring goals for fun. First highlight then. Can we get off to a flying start and score a goal, which would be amazing. We scored one goal in six games, that is very concerning in some ways, but we're playing well though, that's the thing. It went well in regards to our chances being chances created. You know we're creating chances so essentially or eventually we're gonna to have to Oh, see what I mean? That, that, that's, that's like a perfect, you know. Uh, God, I can't even. 
this is the perfect uh, <laughs> my brain is not working it's a perfect example oh my god why can't I think of the word example I think I need to go to bed after this after recording this that is that scary how my brain just went completely blank as you can see again though hit the post or hit the crossbar yet again it's going to be one of them games already I can tell woodwork one can we defend though that's the question disallowed <laughs> for Ipswich this time which is nice to see I'm going to take that doing some good work possession wise but again another throw in McSween this time Vidra gonna play inside plays it to Fairclough inside to Bud McKillop out wide nicely to Bellow on the overlap Yes, come on, let's go! Martin McSween gets us off to, off to a flying start. Come on, let's go. To score a goal. <laughs> it's our second goal in six games or whatever. Oh, it means so, it means so much. Let's go, let's go. I knew Martin McSween would be the man. To put us back on Jack now that he's come back from his injury. Hopefully that gets a bit of confidence in the team now and hopefully we can score a second and then put this game. Um, to bed really. Bello, come on. We'll take it, we'll take the corner. Not a bad start. Not a bad start to the second half, positive. Lambert, he's been a little bit disappointing, but the team's not been in the best of form since he's joined. Same with uh, Trenary as well. That he's kind of in a similar boat. Well, to be fair, he got off to a flyer, scoring a hat trick on his debut. <laughs> so, but since then, he struggled a bit. Both of these guys have struggled. The whole team's, well, the forwards have struggled from the midfield up. Defensively, we've been solid with not really conceded too many goals. Jones is back as well actually which is a bit of a help because he had a little bit of a niggly, niggly injury so Pope play, played you know, two or three games and let's make some subs before I forget let's see if we can rest anyone Watkins a bit of a risk at this time but I'm going to take it same with Cherney and then we'll just stick do that. Just put Simmons up top with dominated possession which is really good but again we're struggling to score goals that's just apparent. Oh Marsden come on. Come on man. What a joke. What a joke. Simmons gets tackled. Trenary. Decent, decent effort, decent effort. Un unlucky there. That's got to be it though. It's got to be full time and we're grinding out a 1 0, which isn't spectacular by any stretch of the imagination. But we just need to keep getting points on the board. Points on the board, he's getting sent off. No, it's full time. 1 0, come on! Not, not a great performance. Not a lot of goals, but we need these points, man. We need these points desperately. 
we don't want to be in a situation where we end up in the playoffs because in this sort of form I'm not very confident we'll even win the playoffs so where are we now then that game we're back up to top spot the gaps close though between the like <laughs> it's just compressed again the likes of Wolves are now in the in the fights um, Sunderland not even that far off either to be honest so everything to play for now we've been slipping up Huddersfield Swansea have been slipping up Hull have as well and the Wolves Sunderland even Barnsley's not that far behind and if they beat us today yeah they're not far behind at all so we've got Barnsley next it's a real big game if we can win that we can we can push our um Points tally, you know, further ahead of Wolves and Huddersfield and all, and all the chasing pack, basically. So, fingers crossed, we can get the job done. Okay, so, so, past heads ahead with Barnsley, we've both drawn both games, which isn't ideal, really. Um, not ideal at all, to be honest, but. We're resting Marsden and Thomas, which is Darius, because they were complaining that they were tired. So we're running this team. It's a bit of a dangerous situation, to be honest, because we've got Bello, Vidra, Watkins, and Cherney at the back. Not, not a defensive line that you, <laughs> you, you, you want to see, really, to be honest. But we'll go with it. Why not? Got McSween leading the line. He's up against Fitz, Fitzy. Absolute beast of a striker. As we know, he bagged goal after goal in the League One. And I'm guessing he's doing that for Barnsley, and that's probably why Barnsley are doing... Well, one of the reasons why they're challenging for playoffs right at, the, right at this moment, because... Fitz is an absolute beast of a player. They got John McGinn as well. Nice. And Wallace both are ancient but still. Got, got tons of experience. Trenary. Trenary, yes, goes past one, goes past two. Hancock with the save though. Shot was quite poor in the end. Great little run though, great dribbling ability. He has got high, I think he's got about 18 dribbling, I think, or 17. Very, very tricky. Fidra. Journey. Goes past one. Gold, bud. Finds Bellow. Don't shoot. Oh, you idiot. Why are you shooting there? You absolute moron and we're way out of position here. Oh my god, White is in. That is just luck. That is luck, well it's not luck. Toby Jones is a beast. <laughs> absolute beast, that's the only reason why we've not 1-0 down right now. Oh my. We're having a lot of possession, but not having a... Any real chances to speak of? My assistant manager wants us to start working in the box, and I'm not consider. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm considering it a little bit. Oh come on! Aiden Mars with 21 goals. Jesus Christ! He's, he's smashing it. We're going to try it in this game, why not? Uh, go for that as well. Take the overlaps off.
Oh, come on, see, we would have buried that. Ten, fuck, ten games ago, that would have been... We, you, Costanza would have buried that one. Oh, I'm convinced. I'm absolutely convinced. Lambert. I'm going to go it alone. Come on, let's go, Dylan Lambert. Only his second goal. Let's go of the season. Boom. Puts his... Back on level terms. Trenary and him linking up. Lambert with the pace. Just a ghost past the full back. Tucks it home nicely. Easy as you like. Let's go. McSween. Oh yeah, I need a, every time. I keep saying I need to take him off corners. I never do. Because <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> Until he takes a corner, I'm like, yeah, I really need to take him off. I'm taking corners. Because he's awful, but... Joe Bud, Watkins, don't make a mistake. I know you've got mistakes in here, Watkins. But you're gonna be, you're gonna be a good player. I, I, I still believe that. McSween, come on, oh, man. Should've done better. Should've done better with that one. They've actually had two clear cuts, as opposed to us, we've only had two half chances. So they're giving us a good run for our money here. Barnsley, which was expected to be honest, I did say that before the start of this game. Between on the corner, another poor delivery. Lambert picks it up though. Between, I don't know what you're trying to do there, mate, but it's no good done. Costanzo, nice! Trinian, oh, come on! Trinari should have bagged that one then. Nice little play though at the moment. We're, we're cause them. Oh, we'll take it! Let's go! Come on! Oh, what a howler! What a howler! Oh my god, that's brilliant. That is brilliant. Mitch Hoyle, Trinari. Guess a goal. <laughs> oh, mate, you don't see too many of them on football manager, to be fair. I don't, we even, have we even had one on this series so far? I don't think so. Or well, maybe we've had maybe one from 11 seasons. Jesus. So, that just shows how fortunate we are with that. We've actually managed to score. Keepers. Keep it an absolute shock away that one. We are for sure going to take it because that puts us 2 1 up. Another goal now would really put us in the driving seat here, really bring the confidence back. Which was getting lost a little bit. Scold on the key. Confidence was dropping. With the poor performances, we were well. We weren't poor. We were just well. I suppose they were poor because the amount of chances we created and we weren't scoring goals. But defensively, we were decent in those running games for the most part, anyway. Call a beating middle draw on now. Interesting. So we really do need to win this game. I think Huddersfield are winning as well. Uh, the Huddersfield, Huddersfield, Huddersfield. Yeah, 3-0 against Sheffield United and Swansea are beating Cardiff. Wolves are drawing though, which is good. I suppose. We really do need a win. Janari, Janari shoots! Oh, come on! Keeper, just let that one for your hands. Swing. Swing your money. Good run. 
What a lovely ball that is. Great vision. Actually, nothing comes of it though. Bello is knackered, but at the same time, who can I, be? I can't bring him on, can I? Well, yeah, I can actually. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, yeah. I think he's going to have to play left back, which he'll be able to do. He's, he's good enough, like, he's a sick full back. So he should be able to handle, especially playing against championship players. He should be able to handle that. Trinari, get dispossessed. Lambert picks it up though, Chaneri, three on goal, oh come on, come on, you need to improve your shooting, we need to look at, uh, well is there any point in developing, like even training him and stuff, he's not even our player so, you know what I mean, what, what is the point, there is no point really, <clears throat> Costanzo, alright come on let's go, no substitutions at bank. Um, bank. Lambert causing all sorts of trouble. Going it alone. I wish he didn't go it alone, mate. That was awful. What? Somehow we're going to come away with the three points. I don't know, quite know how that's happened, but it looks like that's going to be the case. We've been awful again in front of goal, though. One clear cut, four half chances, two goals, but technically one of them was just their, a mistake from their goalkeeper, so we've just really scored one goal from five decent chances. Vidra. Go on! Yes! Oh, it's disallowed. <sighs> Typical. Get, I've got had more disallowed goals over the past six or seven games than I have the whole season. Prior to the prior to them games. Nicholson. It's not the one. It's not the one. Cheney, Lambert. Let's go, let's go. I think this is the way though, the tactic. Maybe take off overlaps. And put work into the box. I think that's, it seems to be the uh, correct way of moving forward. and not looking at what all the time on the, on the board as I should have done should have gone to defensive earlier to be honest like fortunately we've got away with it today game management could have been a big problem if I wouldn't have uh, realised that we're going very attacking we're going to get one last opportunity Ooh, it's a corner it's a corner we've got to defend now with our lives lives depend on it Come on, safe pair of hands, mate. What would we have, what would we have done without Toby Jones? There we go, come on, let's go. Vital three points. Bill and Lambert and Trenary with the goals. Our two new loanies providing the goals. Let's so have an assertive, well done lads, that's a good win for us, it? which it was against, you know, playoff hopefuls of Barnsley. Decent result in the end. Got a bit fortunate with it, let's not, let's not kid ourselves, but we'll take it. You need a little luck here and there, I think. So, we are sitting still number one in the division as of right now. We're coming up to basically ten games left. More or less, if we look at the schedule, then I'm gonna turn my bloody camera back on. I didn't realize it went off. Yeah, if um, we look at the schedule, then for when we come back, there isn't too many episodes left for this season. I think I'm gonna skip 
the Nottingham Forest game. If we win that, we will come back for the next round after that, which is the quarterfinals, yeah. We'll definitely come back for the quarterfinals, whenever that is. But if that, if the quarterfinals in April, we'll probably, who should we be? Probably go for Swansea and Derby, I think, because they're two key games. But it all depends on if we do beat, if we don't beat Nottingham Forest, we're, we're for sure coming back for Swansea and Derby. If the quarterfinals somewhere around the end of March, that will be our main main game for that episode. So with that being said, guys, I think that's rounded up everything today. Finances, 12 mil, decent projection. We're supposed to lose a bit of money, but I don't think that's going to be the case, to be honest. Um, we're still trying, trying to uh, for the stadium, but it's, I, I think if we get promoted to the Premier League, we will for sure be getting a new stadium because um, obviously you need to meet the parameters of the Premier League. I think it's got to be a minimum of like 15,000 seater or something like that, I think. Um, so we will for sure be getting a stadium. But like I said, that rounds up everything then. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. And if you have, I really appreciate it. If you would hit the like button, dislike it. If you dislike it, comment. If you want to comment on it, subscribe. If you want to subscribe, thank you all very much for watching. And I hope to see you in episode 107. Cheers. Bye-bye.